What's up guys, it's Alex here from Alex Matrado's Photography and welcome to today's video. Now this is actually the first in a new series of five minute videos I'm gonna do where I just talk about my favorite sort of top tips, anything to do with photography, IT, just general things that I've learned over the years which I can share with you and hopefully make your life a little bit easier. Now this first one, we're gonna be talking about smart previews in Lightroom. More specifically, how you can use smart previews to drastically speed up your workflow when using Lightroom. So let's crack on straight away, shall we? So the first thing you want to do is open up Lightroom as normal, and then you want to import your images. So all I'm going to do is hit import, select my source, and select my destination exactly as you usually would. Now the important thing up here is this, build smart previews. You want to make sure that that box is ticked. Once it's ticked, click on import. Now, while that's important, let's just talk about what we're doing here. So. Smart previews are really small, compressed versions of your original RAW files. So Lightroom will generate these tiny versions of the original RAW files, and then you can use these instead of these giant original images. Now, because Lightroom has a smaller file to work with, everything is more efficient. Lightroom can process the images quicker, you can browse through the library quicker, and the significant difference is you can export them significantly faster. Once your images are imported, Go to either the library or the develop tab and on the right hand side underneath the histogram you'll notice it now says original plus smart preview now when you see original plus smart preview you know that the smart previews have been created and lightroom has access to both the smart previews and the original raw files now by default lightroom will still prioritize the original raw files over the smart previews so you, at this point you won't actually yet have any performance increases what we need to do is disconnect Lightroom from the original RAW file. So we need to take away its access to the RAW files and force Lightroom to use the smart previews. Now, if you've got an external hard drive and if you set your destination to be an external drive, it's at this point you can just disconnect that drive and Lightroom will only use the smart previews, which will give you quite a performance kick. If, like me, you use a PC or you've got uh, an internal drive, you can't simply disconnect. There's another way, which I'm gonna show you now. Again, within the library of the develop tab, select any image within the bunch that you've just imported, right click and click on show in Explorer. File Explorer will open and it will show you the, the folder that contains all your original raw files. Now we don't need to see the individual files, we just need to see the folder. So I'm gonna click on the containing folder here in the address bar, which in my case is 2018 and I can see all the individual folders within the 2018 folder. Now this is the one I'm looking at, it's the 9th of the 4th, 2018. What I need to do is rename this folder. I don't want to change the name completely because later on we'll need to set it back, so you need to remember what it is. So all I want to do is right click, rename, and all I'm going to do is put a space and a one at the end. We just need to make that file name a little bit different. We don't need to completely rename it. We just want it so that Lightroom can't find this folder. Now, leave this file explorer open. If you close it, you can get back to it, but it's much easier if you just leave it open, move it out of the way, and crack on back into Lightroom. Now, if I go to my Lightroom, you'll notice on the left-hand side in the folders, our folder now has a question mark. And on the right-hand side, underneath the histogram, we no longer see original plus smart preview, we just see smart preview. That's because Lightroom no longer has access to the original files, it just has access to the smart previews. Now it's at this point, you can crack on with your editing. You can edit them in exactly the same way that you usually would, but things will be much faster. You'll be able to edit all your images faster and the processing will be faster. Now, the only negative to this is you won't be able to zoom in as much. So because you're on smart previews, which are smaller versions of the original raw files, you can't zoom into the detail quite so much. If you're only gonna be using these images for social media, so Facebook, Instagram, Flickr, or even a, an email or a blog or a website, then you can actually export the smart previews. Now, smart previews are small compressed versions of the original raw files, as we discussed earlier. They're still 2,500 pixels long along the longest edge. Now to put that in perspective, Facebook has a maximum image size of 2,048 pixels. So the smart previews are still bigger than anything you can upload to Facebook. 
If you're looking to use your images purely for Facebook, you're not looking to print them or send them to clients, then smart previews are the way to go. If you need the full resolution JPEG, so you need the full size JPEGs to export, then you need to reconnect that link between Lightroom and the original RAW files. And I'll show you how to do that now. If you kept this file explorer open, all you need to do is go back to that folder, the same one as before, right click, rename, delete the space in the one, hit enter, head back into Lightroom, and you'll notice that now it says original plus smart previews. All those edits that you made just using the, pro the smart previews will sync up with the original raw files, and then you can export them at full resolution. If you didn't keep that folder open, you accidentally closed it, don't worry, it's easy to get back. Head to the library module, and on the left hand side within the folders, you should see several other folders within the same folder. So in my case, I've got four folders within the 2018 folder. All I'm gonna do is select one of the other folders, right click on the image, show an explorer, which will take me to all these raw files, head back into the containing folder, so 2018 in my case, and there it is. And then you can rename it from there again. So it's dead easy to get back to, even if you do close the original folder. Now to show you a comparison of actually how much faster it is to export the smart previews over the original raw files, we're going to export some files. So I'm going to select 20 completely edited raw files to export. I'm going to click on export. I'm going to put them in a folder on my desktop. I'm not going to resize them, just going to come out as big as they can, and I'm going to do a little bit of sharpening. I'm then going to hit export, and we'll see how long this takes. So there we go, 20 edited raw files exported in 1 minute and 7 seconds. Now let's repeat the process with 20 different edited files, but only using the smart previews. So I'm just going to repeat the process to disconnect the original raw files. So I've got 20 files again to export, but this time we're just using the smart previews because we've disconnected the original raw files. I'm going to export into the exact same folder. I'm going to do everything exactly the same, leaving them as their longest edge, and we'll time this one. and that only took 15 seconds. So that is a massive difference. If you imagine exporting hundreds or thousands of images, that extra minute of for every 20 is really gonna stack up and you're gonna save for yourself huge amounts of time. And that's it, that's all you need to do. Creating and utilizing the smart previews is a dead easy process and the performance gains you can get into your workflow are really, really significant. So definitely worth giving it a go. And that's it. That's the first of these series. They're gonna be every week. I hope it's useful. If there's anything you'd like to see, pop it, comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.